Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Today, I'm gonna to show you quickly how to work with type around circular paths inside of Illustrator. It's a very basic technique, but it comes in handy a lot of times when building logos and badges and crests, that sort of thing. So uh, without wasting any more of your time, let's just go and jump right over into Illustrator and uh, I'll show you how to uh, add this little skill to your toolbox. <music> Okay, here we are in Illustrator. I've got a basic square canvas set up with a plain black circle in the middle. Also have an example over to the side of what it is that we're going to be creating. So this circle here, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it in front with Command F. And then we're gonna make that copy a little bit larger. And we're gonna hold down Alt and Shift to constrain it so that it stays centered. And we're gonna turn off the fill so it's just an empty path. Using the direct selection arrow, you can press A to get that. We're going to select the bottom anchor point on this circular path and delete it so we just end up with the half circle. And then over here, your type tool, if you click and hold, you can drop down and select the type on a path tool. Now, when you click on this, lorem ipsum comes up by default and also it doesn't center the text on that path. So what I like to do is make sure that you're aligned centered here in your paragraph um, option. You can also do that down here, paragraph over on the right and align to center. But what ends up happening, there's a series of handles if you use the direct selection arrow that define the in point and the out point of the copy. So if we click and drag that all the way back to the beginning of the half circle and then make sure that this one here is to the end, we're now gonna be perfectly centered on that half circle path. So now whatever we type, whether it's a long word or a short word, will stay centered. And you don't have to worry about moving these points around and trying to eyeball where the text is. You just know that it is mathematically centered in the middle there. So let's go and double click to select this and type out type on a path so we can match our example over here on the right. I wanna make this a little bit smaller. 65 points is probably good, but let's go down to 60. Um, my top copy up here is tracked out a little bit too much. So let's bring that down to uh, 25. I guess that, ex that will buy us a little bit of extra space so we can afford to bring this back up to 65 points. All of this is gonna depend on the size of your canvas, the size of your document. So don't, don't follow these numbers exactly. That's just based on the size circle and um, document that I've got set up. You're gonna to have to eyeball that yourself. So the neat part of this trick here is if you copy and paste another circle in for the bottom, instead of trying to match it here like this to the bottom of this path, what you wanna do is eyeball it to the top of that text and then let it go with the direct selection arrow again. And then you can delete that and also delete the fill. So now what we've ended up with is a path that runs like this on the top and then it's quite a bit wider on the bottom. So now when we go and select our type on a path tool and select or click on it, it actually by default wants to go to the outside of the path, but that's fine. We'll just type it out now, type on a path. And then using the direct selection arrow again, we'll draw that beginning point out there and then the end point to there. We're still centered, but the problem is the type is, the type's flipped. This center point now, you can click on it and flip the type to the middle. So just like that, you've got text that runs vertically on the top and vertically on the bottom. Now the problem here, the text starts to um, collapse in on itself because it's anchored along the bottom instead of being anchored at the top up like, like that. So what you wanna do for this is you wanna track it out a little bit further. So let's see, maybe about 100, and then the spacing on that 
is technically greater than the spacing on the top, but optically it looks fairly similar. So hit Command Y again to come back into preview mode. And we could just copy this circle and paste it in a couple more times. Only this time we'll use it as a stroke instead of a fill. And this is all just personal taste. At this point, you're finishing off your design. I'm just doing this all quickly. Not really part of the tutorial, but it kind of um, flushes it out a little bit and shows you guys what is possible with this technique. So guys, there we have it. Just uh, covered a nice simple technique, putting type around a path inside of Illustrator. Hopefully uh, it will be something you can add to your toolbox, your uh, design skills. Um, anyway, uh, drop a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Um, that being said, have a good one.